I'm going to show how to do a, a footer at the bottom in Bootstrap Studio. So here we are as uh, create, create new design and we're going to use the blank and I'm going to just call this uh, bottom and create that and we have this blank canvas and like I've said in other videos uh, this little search engine over here is is great it's it's your friend so just put column and I'll put that there and I'm just going to duplicate this and I'm just going to put uh, I'm going to make these class just uh, top and bottom um, so just edit this and I'm going to call this top uh, save that the other one I'm going to call bottom and that makes it easy for me so here we have on the, the top, um, I'm just going to put in a background color for this. And I'm just going to use orange uh, because it stands out. Orange, there we go. And the bottom one, I'm just going to use something like uh, blue, uh, maybe it's green. Background color, and I'm going to put in lime so it's very visible. So here we have, we have these two things here. Don't really mean that much if we preview them. Um, we won't get very much really on there. In fact, we get absolutely nothing. So what we do there is we just put in, say, paragraphs. So we put that one there and just pop that one in the top. And now you can see there that there's uh, some orange all the way along that line. And the next one, I'm just going to put in a paragraph in this bottom one as well. So there we have now two, two distinct lines and the paragraph um, at the bottom, I'm just going to sort and identify them one from the other and just put uh, ID as uh, second. So as means second, oh, second to me. Okay. So how do we get this at the bottom anyway? So we want this green line thing right at the bottom uh, down in this part here so it gives us i always say that if you if you're going to use a footer and you don't have to but if you're going to use a footer always do it first because it can cause so many problems in your css if you wait too late and, you, and make your website look a bit silly uh, some web designers don't think that it matters i think that's laziness i think that you should uh, put it at the bottom if that's where it's meant to go um, but some are not really bothered as long as it's somewhere around which which I don't like anyway so this is uh, we're going to work on this one so the background here is lime so what we're going to do is we're going to put in something position absolute position uh -uh, spelled that all wrong um, position absolute there we go. So that's what that is. I'll just show you the code there. Position absolute. That's very, very uh, important. And something else called bottom zero. And see, that's at the bottom. So we just put in height. And we'll call that something like 60 pixels. There you go. So if we just check that now on our uh, web page, and that's it. That's all there is to it. So the most important part about this is position absolute, bottom zero. It doesn't have to be not pixels or px. Zero will do. Height is 60 pixels. 60 pixels using px will be fine if it's height. Uh, sometimes in responsive design, if you use uh, other markers if you like uh, it doesn't work as good but for bottom uh, for footers and things like that pixels is fine and there you see all your content and now go in between that so i hope you've enjoyed that and uh, maybe you've learned something so thanks for watching and thanks for listening